Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the Smudging Sage Tarot. Tonight there is the second video about Johnny Depp. So stay excited and let's smudge some sage to get rid of negativity. Please note my update compared to the previous video. <laughs> That's so funny. So, I am going to smudge to get rid of negativity, of confusion, of smoke and mirrors, and go straight to the heart of the matter. I'm going to ask the tarot to help us understand with the clarity. And remember, it's not my opinion. I ask the tarot or the oracles and they reply. So, while I shuffle, I want to tell you something that happened, happened before I, um, I chose the tarot, while I was choosing the tarot, actually, and the oracles. Basically, before I start, I always ask to the tarot if they want to participate to the reading. Uh, it's not only a form of respect for the, for the tarot, but it's uh, more than everything uh, being clear about the intention. And uh, something, I do it always, okay? Because I want clarity. Of course, I smudge, I smudge and all the rest. But this time, the cards were literally jumping out. Oop. Um, this is a message for everybody, guys. This is temperance. So, this can be an interesting mm -hmm. um, message for everybody to know. Uh, and uh, for somebody in particular about... Uh, um, it gives me the idea of uh, um, measuring your efforts between hot and cold and water and uh, uh, ground, okay? So, generally, I ask the guards and they are quite uh, clear about what they want to do. But today, were, they were literally jumping out and I have to say, at a certain point, I was also moved to tears because three terror came out and um, the message was that Johnny Depp doesn't want to cry anymore. And it was very intense and I, I, I really felt, felt it. Uh, um, yes. I was moved, moved to tears, but were good vibration, you know, like, I don't want to cry anymore. I, I, I want to be happy, kind of. So, as you see, today I have plenty of cards to shuffle. And some... Yeah, I told you, they are so excited. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm still making, jumping around. Okay, so today we are going to talk, uh, to ask about oop, Tulip. This is another message for you guys. So friendship and gratitude. Let us be grateful for the people who make us happy. They are the charming ga gardeners who make <laughs> our souls blossom. Marcel Proust. So this can be even a message from me to you because I'm very grateful for the subscribers and for the people who follow my channel. Thank you. And I'm very grateful for the messages, which is uh, the thing I am uh, uh, getting to now. So this really comes because uh, pride, 
uh, one of my subscribers asked for uh, a reading about uh, Johnny Depp's love life. And another day, David Brady uh, asked about uh, Johnny Depp's, um, if he will get back his good reputation. So, and this is something I am going to ask to the cards tonight. So we will know everything we want to know. I'm very excited, as you can tell. So I'm going to pull from this deck the significator, okay? So the 12, the king, and the village. Okay, let me see if you can see them. Oh, yes. So I want to show you the cards. The king. Ah, there is a sigil in the hand. This is very interesting. And the pearl. Mm, we are going to to investigate into this one, the village. And there again, there is a circle here. That's so interesting. So, let me see. Those cards in general, the, the, the energy of the king card which is an archetype. The archetype of the king represents authority, power, and leadership. It would indicate that Johnny Depp is asserting his authority or taking charge in his love life. So, what I am... So, there is a sigil here, right? So now... Um, if you if you have an intention and if you work a little bit of magic, a little bit of magic, you know that once you are done with the setting the intention and specifying what you want, you put a sigil. Okay, so. It's a, there is a statement of what you want to do, there is a desire, and there is a sigil that is like uh, uh, freezing that desire to happen. So, um, and here there is the pearl, which uh, basically, the pearls, the pearls are intriguing because they, they can signify tears and in order to have a pearl in the uh, oyster there must be a friction something like scratching and basically the pearl is uh, the the healing of the oyster because by healing creates those several layers that create the pearl and come, comes from basically from suffering, comes from um, recovering, from healing. And I think that this is a beautiful message around the, um, the, the fact that Johnny Depp wants to assert his authority and take charge of his love life because he wants to heal his love life and this is beautiful so because this card is the significator with this one it means that uh, it's what at the moment Johnny Depp is busy with basically so here we have the village this card may suggest a sense of community or connectedness in his relationships, possibly indicating 
a supportive social circle and uh, it makes total sense also there is a circle that the hand is drawing okay so the the, the card talks about community cooperation is basically a card of uh, harmony and he lives in a little village now kind of in the middle of nowhere but it's a way for him to set his boundaries and work in this little space as much as he can uh, on his connections and um, it's beautiful it's really beautiful and uh, it's amazing okay in this deck there are all sorts of color of cards but those two have the same color if you see they are very very similar and there is the right hand where he likes to write many things i know i i, I draw this on my left hand but he has those tattoos on his right hand here we have the right hand oh look oh, i did it i just noticed this you see this is this uh, this sigil is red and round look here it's wonderful and also with the, those rays wow guys what a synchronicity and there is another hand here with the uh, arm here and uh, this uh, circle even looks like a ring wow guys this is johnny depp's this is johnny depp's uh, reading a hundred percent i'm going to pull a few cards now a sip of water wonderful so let's see queen of wands reversed okay you can see then we have the empress reversed And then the tower, I'm not surprised. And the strength, and these two, I'm not surprised. But um, hmm. let me see, with the, with the room here. Okay, I think you can see now, yeah. Okay. So, the, the Queen of Wands reversed could suggest a lack of confidence or energy in romantic endeavors. And I, uh, it's very understandable. This makes a lot of sense after all he went through. The Empress, again, reversed indicates potential challenges or difficulties in nurturing relationships and creativity. And the tower, as you most probably already know, this talks about sudden upheaval or significant changes in his love life. So generally people, when see, when see the, the tower, they are scared. They are like, oh my God, something bad is going to happen. But because he went through already so much, uh, this tower can just kind of get rid of all the bad things that he went through. You see what I mean? Energetically, uh, falling apart, burning, tiring apart and burning, uh, starting from scratch, this can be absolutely a good thing for him. And as a matter of fact here, you have the strength, which represents inner strength and resilience, suggesting that Depp has to, uh, he has 
the strength to overcome challenges. So in terms of an energy of uh, his own life energy, the life force, he has it. And this is just beautiful. Then we have the six of wands. And I show you. And you see, this is the card that in traditional tarot, you have uh, moving from uh, um, troubled water to calm water. He actually already had this card, I think, in the previous reading. Anyway, uh, you can check it. But uh, this card is, uh, is a good sign for him. And uh, can, he can be moving away from difficulties or finding a path to peace and resolution. So it's a very good card for him. Let's see what we have. The two of wands. Wow, this is very nice. This indicates planning for the future and making decisions about his romantic life, which is very wise of him because um, I think he learned a lot in the last years, unfortunately, but as always, whatever bad the situation brings always the, the, the good side in it, the lesson, what you learned. So this is the Ace of Wands. Fantastic. The Ace of Wands is like having a a magic a magic wand and uh, it's a very very uh, good omen and uh, uh, symbolizes uh, new beginnings creative inspiration and passion and i know he has <coughs> many he has many uh, talents he's a man of many talents and when i see this moon here kind of upside down, down, and this that looks to me like a diamond. So what the people can see, he shines in stuff, but what the people cannot see is still a romantic with a, a, a rich secret life. Okay, so next card, the five of pentacles reversed. Can you see the card? Yes. So I'm going to put the link for all those beautiful tarot in the uh, description box. The Five of Pentacles reversed suggests overcoming financial or material struggles, which is very good news, <laughs> indicating a potential improvement in stability or security in relationship this is a good news and look goes under the 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 string wonderful i love it for him overall the reading suggests that johnny depp may be facing challenges or <clears throat> changes in his love life but he has the inner strength and determination and determination to uh, navigate through them. There are indications of new beginnings, creative energy. And the potential improvements in stability or security. However, there may be also a need for him to address issues related uh, to confidence and nurturing relationships. Because um, this is the problem when uh, coming from a, a very traumatizing family where there is violence uh, and there is uh, verbal or physical abuse, 
when your uh, ca um, ca caretaker, uh, instead of nurturing you as whoever, him, um, instead is the danger that you perceive in life, well, you are kind of F-A-K-E-D-U-P because um, you don't believe you can be in another relationship. You don't believe you can be nurtured. You don't believe you can be safe. So there is always that toxic, difficult, uh, um, there is a... Um, uh, skepticism and the skepticism it's a uh, um, doubt you know and, and doesn't nurture the couple and the couple is complicated by by itself already so um, it's a, it's a not easy at all but I, I really believe this is a, gives us a good uh, good uh, vibes so what about the future love situation now it turns very intriguing and i and i um, and i took quite a, a sexy deck <laughs> and uh let's see this is called valentina terro so we have the four of pentacles can you see it reversed then we have the seven of cups reversed. I hope you can see it, otherwise I would tire. We have the wheel of fortune reversed, it too. Five of cups. And... King of Swords. How interesting. Okay, let's start uh, from uh, reading here. Okay, so the Four of Pentacles. So this is indicating a release of a material or emotional attachment. You know that when this card is upright, it's, it means attachment to material, attachment to money, attachment to everything. Here, it's uh, <clears throat> indicating a release of a material or emotional attachment, suggesting a shift, because it's upside down, reversed, uh, towards a greater openness and flexibility in relationship. So this card, in this case, is a, a, a good, very good position. So we have here the Seven of Cups reversed. Seven of Cups, in general, it's about illusions castles in the air, things that never happen. But when it's upside down, like in this case, it means that uh, there is a clarity of a vision and uh, focus on realistic goals or desire in love. So somehow he is... Uh, um, it's getting rid of illusion, maturing, if I can say. So we have the will of a fortune reversed, signifying temporary uh, setbacks or delay in matters of fate and destiny. Yeah, because it's the will of a fortune but also the potential for positive changes with patience and perseverance. Then we have the Five of Cups. Can you see? Yeah. That uh, uh, symbolizes 
feelings of loss or disappointment in love, but also the opportunity for emotional healing and growth. And then we have the King of Swords that represents clear communication, ra uh, rationality, and intellectual leadership, suggesting the importance of clarity and honesty in future relationship. And this is really awesome because I, I really think that what we just said was missing in his previous relationships. Wow, very exciting. A sip of water. So let's see. Let's see what, um, again, something more about about a new relationship. Because I am curious, I know you are curious, and this is the deck of curious creatures. <laughs> so it makes total sense that I pull some cards from here. And this is the deck that uh, moved me to tears today when he said that he doesn't want to cry anymore. So let's see what comes out. Eight of a cup. The Fool. Oh, hold on, let me see. No, you cannot see. I'm going to put it here. Okay, actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this so there is no confusion, as I always want. Eight of Cups. The Fool, Queen of Swords, Reversed, and the Stringed card, Reversed. And actually, this is the second time that this card comes out from the other deck too here oh wow look at this stringed stringed wow <laughs> i was even not planning on putting those cards here i just realized you couldn't see them how amazing i love synchronicities i really love synchronicities so so let's see what those cards uh, mean and then what I am going to do, I am going to check uh, what this synchronicity means, okay? Let's start from the Eight of Cups here. This, indicate, this is indicating a period of introspection. Eight of Cups, a period of introspection. A period of soul searching where one may choose to leave behind what no to leave behind what no longer serves him emotionally. Look the water in the back. So already the, the cups. They are about emotions because the cups contain the water. But look here, she, this zebra is moving around all this water that looks like a, a bay here, a beach, uh, the seaside, and the cups. So what I perceive from this card is that uh, he wants to get away from drama. Okay, emotional drama, crying, problems of the, you know, you are, you are fan. So the, 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 the fool symbolizes uh, new beginnings, adventure, and taking a leap of faith in love, suggesting a willingness to embrace 
they are known and trusting the journey ahead. Guys, here I have to open a parenthesis because otherwise this is a huge, huge good omen for him. So basically um, for, for people, let's say it because I, there are no, no, no secrets and no reasons to not mention it. It's a, not a matter of being respectful or not. The problem why, the reason why he had all those problems with this woman was because he was replicating something that was known to him. Okay? So the, viol the violence, physical violence, verbal violence, her bullying him. Um, People wonder why he doesn't leave. He doesn't leave. He didn't leave at the time when he was still on time. Because I think he didn't want to talk about uh, domestic violence because everybody could have come out and say, you knew she was violent. She already showed it before you married her. Why you did marry her? He did marry her because for him it's known. He knows what it is to be in a violent relationship. He knows what it means to be abused and be bullied. He knows what it means running away to feel safe and lock himself up in the restroom. What didn't make him do, let's say, let's say the right choice, there is not right or wrong, but let's say the right choice was because he was afraid of the unknown. But this card is talking about new beginnings, adventure, and taking a leap of faith in love, suggesting the willingness to embrace the unknown and trust the journey ahead. This is a big uh, landmark now in uh, uh, in uh, Johnny Depp Psychic, okay? That's wonderful. I'm very happy for him. Then we have the Queen of uh, Swords reverse, signifying potential challenges in communication or decision making, urging caution against being overly critical or detached in relationships, of course. This is always, um, we, we are always talking about the same um, psychological behavior. Of course, if your caretaker, as a kid, as a young boy, beats you, beats your sister, be beats your father, you have to run away, how can you trust people? How can you have a straightforward communication when you have to struggle to, to survive in the place where you should be safe. And of course, the, the still is, because the karma, which is not a revenge, but karma is something that repeats itself, it's very difficult to get rid of, but he is working on it. And he is willing to take a leap of faith on this and embrace the unknown. And this is amazing, even though now the, the, the communication is so and so. Then we have the, uh, the, um, the, the strength reverse. So here we have the strength upright. Here we have the strength reverse. Okay, this suggests a need to cultivate inner strength and the resilience in facing future challenges, reminding to tap into one's inner courage and patience. All right, okay. Again, those cards are super clear and, and it's very, very easy to understand. It makes total sense for me. So. He is a strong man, okay? But he has to work with the strength that resides inside. 
and this can be a challenge and this is what is working on or has to work on because nevertheless uh, you cannot trust he cannot trust the people but still he is kind of insecure on many levels okay so Now, I want to use, I want to use another, uh, uh, another deck because this card is moving for a while and I want to pull this card that is moving. I want to know what she wants to tell us. <laughs> so, what does it say? Tick tock, tick tock talk reversed oh my god what this can be it was like wanting to to come out like on a rush and again the hands look okay so this is indicating a sense of urgency for sure impatience for sure <laughs> Suggesting the importance of making uh, one's time and not rushing into decisions in matters of heart. So, the nature of this man is like, wow, urge. Okay, 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 let's do this, let's do this. Probably he's thinking, oh, I'm going to enter a new relationship, I'm going to enter a new relationship. But uh, we have, uh, he has to be calm here. He has to be calm here. Because it has to be grounded and take decisions with the calm. And uh, we all know the lesson. At least I have always been rushing. And uh, it's not a, a very good thing when you have to take important decisions especially for him that is a celebrity and he can uh, he can step in whoever you never know so because he's so popular he has just to pick one but because of his past and the the the, the imprinting that he had he can pick the one that makes him suffer again so the cycle starts again so overall the future love situation may involve a period of releasing old attachments and uh, embracing greater openness and clarity in relationships while uh, there may be temporary setbacks or disappointments there is also potential for positive changes and uh, new beginnings. So, especially with the clear communication, emotional healing and patience. So this is something he should very much work on. It's essential to trust in the journey and take the necessary time to make careful decisions, okay? Okay, so I have a question now. Is Depp's new lover, is Johnny Depp's new lover a good person for him? Okay, let's, let's see. Chop wood reverse. Uh oh round and round with the Fineacci round and round something that repeats itself and then uh, treasure island like the pirate let me see if I would discard here yeah I think you can see it yeah, Treasure Island, reversed, the orphan, 
no orphaned reversed and exchanging gifts reversed hmm how interesting let me take a sip of water on those cards this intrigues me so much oh. chop wood reversed suggests a need to reassess one's priorities and actions it may indicate that there is a lack of diligence or focus in the current situation, urging a more deliberate and uh, thoughtful approach to decision making. This is something that uh, he has as a um, kind of a shortcoming, something that this is an area, an improvement area of him. Wow, this card. It's very intriguing because basically, because I think that once he will have straightened up this, this, uh, this lack of focus, you know, the, 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 the thing that he has, he has to improve in, uh, in uh, uh, decision making, once he will straighten up this, a new gate, a new life will start for him. That's what I see from this oracle. And then we have round and round reversed this one too. And uh, when this card appears reversed, it indicates a potential break in cyclical patterns or repetitive behaviors this is amazing because when it's upright it's round and round and round but when it's reversed you break the pattern that's fantastic it suggests that there may be opportunities to break free from stagnation or unproductive cycles and he knows what we are talking about here about unproductive cycles i don't want to name anything but there are bad habits that go round and round you stop and then you take it again you stop it and then and then you go round and round. but here he breaks the pattern so this is good news and, uh, and this is encouraging and is a, a fresh perspective on new beginnings. This is, I'm very happy for him, honestly. I think he deserves, and this is a huge stroke of luck if it's what I think he breaks in terms of unproductive cycles. So the treasure of island reversed can you see it? Uh, yes. This card reversed uh, may indicate a lack of fulfillment or satisfaction in the current situation. It suggests that, suggests that uh, what was once perceived as valuable or desirable may no longer hold the same significance urging a re-evaluation of priorities and goals and i think that this is always good news because it's always part of breaking all the part patterns and cycles that make you stay always at the same place so even though so i think that uh, what this card is trying to say is that what before was satisfying him, was desirable, was a target, something to reach, now 
lost that appeal. And uh, when I see this card following this card, okay, of breaking patterns, okay, unproductive, I see this very, like very appropriate and a very good omen for him. Because it means that he really is changing. It's not just, this is a confirmation of everything we are saying. Those cards are very consistent. They are very clear. So let's see this orphan that looks so sad. Let's see, but this is reversed. This card may suggest a need for healing and emotional support. It indicates that uh, feelings of abandonment or isolation may be present, but there is also potential for individual solace and uh, connection through community. This card, remember, or nurturing relationships. So, um, the way I see this card, uh, anyway, is that it, because it's reversed, you know, it's like all those feelings of abandonment, all those uh, things of need of emotional support, depending on others, this may slowly but surely change. At least is what I wish for him, but it's what I feel from here. And then we have exchanging gifts, reversed, may indicate miscommunication or unbalanced in give and take. This is another thing he has to work on. Yeah. Uh, this is something that uh, he does. Those dynamics of giving and taking uh, crazy gifts and then uh, running away. Uh, it suggests uh, that, that uh, there may be challenges in mutual understanding or reciprocity urging a reassessment of how resources and affection are exchanged in the relationship, yeah. This is something that he has to reevaluate, work on it, and um, yeah, who knows, because he is a hell of an artist, I would, uh, I would create more than, you know, I buy you this, let's do this, and then this consuming, I, now I don't want to look like I don't want this current girlfriend having gifts, uh, uh, never something like that, of course, but, uh, you know, trying to work on this dynamic of uh, giving and taking, it's um, a little bit kind of compulsive, the way it feels now. Overall, the, the reverse guides in this spread uh, suggest a need for introspection and the reassessment in the context of a depth, new relationship. There may be patterns or behaviors that need to be addressed, and it's essential to seek clarity and balance in communication and interactions with the partner. It's a reminder to approach this situation with the honesty openness and a willingness to work through any challenges that may arise. So I would say, let's pull a card from uh, uh, the botanical inspiration that we love so much. And um, let's see. What comes out? So, let's see. Oh, and this one came out too. Okay, so, let's see. Let's see. Okay, so see, this is a lilac. 
first emotions of love. Love is the magician that pulls a man out of his own head. Ben H. Wow, guys. Those cards are so deep. So basically, that's a beautiful message uh, from uh, the Liliac because uh, it seems to reinforce the importance of love and uh, its transformative power in our lives. And um, it's a lovely addition to this reading, honestly, a reminder of the magic that the love can bring, like the, the magician pulling out the, 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 the rabbit from the head. You are on the spot, drawn into uh, the magic world of where everything is possible and enchantment. And then this, I wanted to pull one card and this one uh, wanted to come out. I told you those cards were so ready, actually they couldn't wait. They have been running into the reading like never before. So, what do these cards say? First of all, Asters, Callistephus, Elegance and Patience. Nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. Lao Tzu, my God. The wisdom of those cards. I love this deck. So the the Aster's card. This gives us a message of elegance and patience, clearly, and uh, reminds us of the natural rhythm of life. Just as nature takes its time to bloom and flourish, so too must we exercise patience which this is a, a very tough word for uh, I'm, I'm the impression for that and uh, and uh, allow things to unfold in their own time this card encourages us to embrace gracefulness and serenity In our endeavors, basically in everything we do, we have to be graceful and patient, trusting that with the patience and the perseverance, our goals will eventually come to fruition. It's a gentle reminder to appreciate the beauty of the journey and to trust in the process of growth and transformation. I say, what beautiful cards. I mean, there is work, don't get me wrong, but the cards are amazing. The work he's doing is, uh, is fantastic. So, as promised, I promise David David Brady, that I would have replied to his question that was, will Johnny Depp, will Johnny Depp uh, get his good reputation back? I use this deck for a yes or no question. It's very fast. It's uh, super cool. Okay, so let's see. Living large. Wonderful. <laughs> this card suggests that... Uh, that uh, can you see it? I think so, yeah. That Johnny Depp's path to reclaiming his reputation involves embracing a larger-than-life attitude and mindset. This card may indicate that he needs to step into his authenticity and live boldly, unapologetically expressing himself and his truth. Wow! It encourages him to focus on living a life to the fullest 
and showcasing his unique qualities and talents. And talents by embodying confidence, charisma, and a positive outlook. He can begin to shift public perception and regain the, the respect and admiration that he deserves. And that's it. I just loved this reading. I hope you too. If so, please like and subscribe, share with your friends, and I wait you, and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye-bye!